We are very, very happy and very proud that BRS party has released the election manifesto of 2023 yesterday. Our Honorable Chief Minister, who is known uh, for his Telangana model across the nation in both managing the development and welfare together, uh, we announced our manifesto. And it is a manifesto which will set the country in a different course, not only the state. Uh, as Telangana, we've showed a way to the country how to create wealth, how can upskilling be done, how can we support the farmers, how can we support the uh, fishermen, how can we support anybody who's uh, in the rural economy, how do we recharge rural economy, we've been always a model. So our manifesto automatically reflects the same model. We are into very good policy making, we've continued that, apart from that, the support that we were extending to the farmers, we have augmented that support. In the sense, we were giving 10,000 rupees as farmers incentive per acre, now we've increased it to 16,000 rupees. We were giving uh, 2,000 rupees as pension, now we've increased it to 5,000 rupees. That too, we are very clear, very open with our people. We said immediately next year we can't do it, but in the next year we will increase it. Incremental growth will happen in the dignity output that we are giving to the farmers, women, etc. So we're very clear on it. And our people also understand and believe that when a leader is transparent with them, they support us. So our manifesto is a very clear reflection of our leader's mind and our manifesto is a very clear rep uh, representation of the fiscal situation of Telangana today. So we have to take care of the financial situation of the state and then only strengthen it further. Then only we can give out uh, the incentives that we give for our people. So in that way, once our manifesto is out, both BJP and Congress, they really got frightened and frustrated. That was very clearly evident in what Mr. Revant Reddy was saying and what Mr. Kishan Reddy, who is a BJP Pradesh Adhyaksha, uh, what he was saying, that was very evident. And uh, I'm really uh, feeling very bad that Revant Reddy Garu called our manifesto a rough paper. I believe the guarantees that Congress is giving are nothing but tissue papers because they themselves have no guarantee anywhere that they will ever come into the power. They themselves have no guarantee that one leader who is with them today sitting next to them is there with them tomorrow. That is that you are evidently seeing in every state. Karnataka where they have won giving all these guarantees. Now Karnataka people themselves are saying they are not able to implement. Karnataka Deputy GM himself, many ministers are saying they are not able to implement. So your guarantees that your leader Rahul Gandhi is giving are nothing but tissue papers. Telangana people will not believe in them nor care for them. That is point one. And Mr. Kishan Reddy from BJP was giving out a big lecture to us. Uh, it is BJP who has learned from us. It is Honorable uh, Central Government Prime Minister Modi ji who has got inspired from our schemes and now he's implementing these schemes across the nation. And now Kishan Reddy here comes and tells us that, you know, you have to do it in a different way. You can do this, do that. So, see, see please don't preach to the choir. My request with Honorable Kishan Reddy is whatever promises that were left, whatever else you can do for Telangana, please do it at least now. You have not given us one IIT, you have not given us one IIM. BJP as a party, if you have any commitment, please do that for the state, but do not unnecessarily create hurdle. You have lost deposit in 105 seats last time. This time, we will make sure that you lose deposit in all the 119 seats. So BJP has zero stakes. We don't have to take that party seriously in Telangana. Congress uh, might put up a fight, but they can never be a competition to BRS because our commitment is with the people of Telangana. We are a pro-people party. We are a poor people's party. Aam janta ke saath rehne wali party BRS hai. Isi liye humare manifesto, it, it reflects that. Uh, Dekhe, Congress party, uh, see Congress party has been in power at least for 65 years in this country. During the entire 65 years and their history of 135 years or 150 years of Congress party, they have never come up with an idea of giving incentives to the farmers. Why? Because they only believe in international economics, not in rural economics. But our leader took it upon him from day one to recharge the rural economy. Because India is an agrarian country even today. And if you are not catering to the people living in the rural areas, what are you going to do? So when we picked up the rural economic recharge policy, that is when our wealth grew in the state. So Revant Reddy does not have understanding of these things. Revant Reddy and Rahul Gandhi ji, they believe, they think, ki, before election you come out and say anything, people will vote for you. But those days are gone. Telangana people are educated people. Telangana people are politically aware people. They will throw away these tissue paper guarantees of them into the dustbin and they will stand by KCR Garu.